Hey what up guys, it is Matt KC Tutorials here once again bringing you a JavaScript tutorial. Today we're going to be learning switch and case and also going to be learning loops. We're going to learn loops and there's whole different kind of loops. We're going to be learning a for loop because it's the easiest and uh, I think you guys will understand it. So uh, let's get started with the switch and case first. So we're going to make a variable called answer. Give it some value. I'm actually just going to put it here, save some time. Prompt. Enter a number from one to all right. So now this is how the switch works. Basically, it checks the answer. You input answer, and then it looks for the value of the answer inside the case. So you put case one. Break is based break and this symbol are basically brackets. So this is the start bracket and break is the end bracket. Basically, break is like okay we found it so don't read any more cases that's basically what it means and we'll do a alert you have typed one make another one for two break alert you have typed now if the user answers three I mean two or more so it's how we have to do it basically it's not gonna display anything because it's not inside a case so you need an else and I don't know why I'm getting a call so sorry about that let me just put this on uh, do not disturb all right sorry about that guys um, so basically if cannot find the answer like if, if the answer is not inside the the, the case we need to do the default basically default is uh, an else so we do default alert you have not typed a number from one to two all right so uh uh, we're going to have to go to design. I'm just going to put the window a bit closer. Alright, so there we go. And I'm going to enter 1. Now it promoted I me, mean, it alerted 1. I mean, you have typed 1, and that's basically what we told it to do. Now I'm going to try 2, just to show you guys. Let's run again. I'm going to try 2. You have typed 2. And I'm going to do 3. Not even, I'm going to do 100. Just to show you that it could be any number greater than two, and I'm gonna do a hundred. You have not typed a number from one to two, and that's correct actually. Default a hundred is not in the case, so it's gonna it goes straight to the default. Now I'm gonna pause this video for a second because my Skype is annoying me, and uh, give me a second. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back. It was just Squid calling me to tell me some stupid stuff, so I uh, just ignore that. Uh, Basically, we finished the uh, switching case. I hope you guys understand it. Now, I'm going to go into loops. I want to see how much time I have left. I have a pretty fast tutorial, actually. So, we're going to do loops. Now, this is where people tend to stop learning JavaScript or any computer language because it's sort of hard to understand, but I'm going to try to make it easier. So, the for loop. You don't need to make a variable. I mean, you can. It won't affect it at all. But I'm not going to. So I'm going to do for. I'm going to write it and then explain it. For i equals 0. You got to stop that. Now we need another statement. I'm going to do from i is less than 5. And then we're going to add 1 to i. I guess it's generic because we don't have brackets. And I'm going to explain that. I'm going to put this on full so you guys can see better. All right. For i equals 0. Basically, i is equal 0. <laughs> and then i is less than 5. This basically means i to 5. Just imagine that's the 2 symbol on Visual Basic. So it's i to 5 and then the plus plus is increment by one. That's basically what it means. It's just saying add one to i. So it's going to do this once. 
it's going to add 1 to i so i equals 1 it's still it's still less than 5 so it's going to do it again add 1 until it's not less than 5 so if you do this it should do it four times because uh because 5 is not less than 5 you get what i'm saying so i'm going to do a, a not I'm not gonna do a document. I'm gonna do a. I mean, I'm not gonna do a learn. Do a document. If I spelled it right, and I spelled it wrong again. There we go. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna put a. I is equal to space plus sign and I'm just gonna put I. I'm gonna do a break alert. Oh why did I say alert? Not alert. Uh just a, a basic uh HTML break. Not too hard. Alright, I'm gonna run this. I'm gonna go to design and uh, I is equal to zero, I is equal to one, I is equal to two, three and four to where is 5 and the reason it's not 5 is because 5 is not less than 5 but if you put in this is the equals and equal to that right there so it should have a 5 now and there you guys have it now I'm gonna try to explain it a bit more because it's only 6 minutes uh, alright so I is basically what you want to increment by so I is equal to 0 and then i is greater than i mean i is less than or equal to five so while this is true it's going to run this and then this right here i plus plus means increment by one add one to i so it's going to add one boom it's going to do this it's going to go back to the top because this is still true once this is false it's not going to run anymore so this is really useful if you know how many times you want to copy something. So I'm going to show you an example how this could be useful. So I'm going to do a var count. No, no, just number. Making things too complicated. Number equals prompt. Enter a number, please. Wow, I type fast. <laughs> All right, so here I'm just gonna replace this with number. Now I'm gonna try this again. Enter a number. So if I enter five, no, I'm, I'm not gonna enter a hundred. I mean, I, I'm kind of tempted to. Yeah, yolo. I'm just gonna enter a hundred, and there you guys have it. Look, it's, it goes from zero all the way to a hundred. But if I take that equal sign off, it's not going to go to 100 because 100 is not less than 100. So I'm gonna do this again. Do 100. And oh, 99. So uh, that's today's tutorial. Next tutorial is going to be maybe another loop or introduce functions. I'm not sure yet. And uh, so, guys, don't forget to like the video, comment, and uh, please subscribe.